let's talk about some of the horror news that just dropped, including the new Long Lakes teasers that are emerging all around the area with a Seattle Times ad that reads almost like the Zodiac. Also, let's talk about the Possession remake. And we are also talking new Jordan Peele and so much more. So make sure you subscribe, notification bell on. We got a ton of things to cover. And all summer long, we got giveaways, videos, all of that. Don't miss out on it, as well as our Long Lakes breakdown coming tomorrow from that new website that just dropped. But let's talk about this Possession remake that so many people are talking about. So as we know, the Possession movie from 1981 is a psychological horror movie directed by Andres Sulawiski. And and this new film remake will be starring apparently Robert Pattinson. It hasn't been confirmed, but he is producing the film and he has gotten writer director Parker Finn to direct and write the remake as well. So the new film has gotten a bidding war from A24, Netflix, Paramount, Sony and Warden Brothers. So the film is still in early development stages. We don't know exactly how the plot will mirror the 1981 film or any of the casting yet. But we do know that Pattinson is producing through his production company as well. We have Roy Lee in here who also helped produce Barbarian and many other horror films and it is not yet said when this film will come out but we do know that it has started so many people against Pattinson and Parker Finn remaking this because it's just a cult classic. I'm so interested though however to see what they might bring here and we will revisit Possession because of this so very excited to talk about that. One thing to note here also is that Trap just got an early release date so if you're excited for Trap you are more excited now to learn instead of August 9th it will be coming August 2nd. So we are much more closer to seeing what M. Night Shyamalan, Josh Hartnett have cooked up here. So the thriller says a father and a teen daughter attend a pop concert where they realize they're at the center of a dark and sinister event. The trailer has been great. The marketing has been pretty awesome. I'm excited to see it heat up as we get closer to that release date, but very excited for what this means. So if you're a Long Legs fan, be rest assured that the marketing is just starting to heat up. And we got a ton of videos this week about long legs because there's so many things to discuss so make sure you subscribe for that but the neon horror film has released a seattle ad one pager that released where you have this code here giving us a lot of zodiac vibes here as well and apparently it redirected you to a website where they talk about the murders that long legs has committed over the past decades or so and i looked into it and i have a whole video i recorded for that that will be coming out tomorrow but apparently long legs has been at this for some time and there's some interesting tidbits there so check out that video tomorrow so make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification bell to know when it drops but we're very excited to it so one of the things that you read from this website i'll give you a little bit of that is with 38 kills to his name long Links has torn apart the lives of 11 different families throughout the beaver state his victims were good people honest fathers decent mothers and innocent little children there's a lot of clues throughout this website and we're discussing that all tomorrow so stay tuned for that but cannot wait for long Links, one of our most anticipated films of the year so far mega Lopolis fans rejoice because the film will be coming to the United States through Lionsgate. It was reported that the film will be released on September 27th. The film had its premiere at Cannes last month and we have Adam Driver, Aubrey Plaza, John Voight, Shia LaBeouf starring in this one and you know we'll see how this film will be but we are definitely excited to see what Megalopolis has to offer. I've said it before in some videos that this was met with some very polarizing reviews and reactions from the press and some of the people at Cannes. But we'll see how it goes for the general audience right we're excited to see what that means jordan peele hive stand up because today we just learned that october 2026 will mark the fourth directorial film from jordan peele with a theatrical release right around halloween so we're very excited about that there is so many things that are still being kept under wraps pretty much everything about this film but this is what peele had to say about this when the film actually however was supposedly originally set for release on december 2024 but then was pushed because of everything that was happening around the industry at the time but peele had to say this during a stint with conan o'brien do you feel like my next project is clear to me and i'm psyched that i have another film that could be my favorite movie if i make it right so very excited for what this means get out us and nope have all collectively grown 683 million worldwide it's no doubt about that jordan peele is probably one of the most sought out directors in Hollywood right now and we're very excited what that will look like with this next film. I was very surprised with Nope. It became instantly my favorite uh, Jordan Peele film so I'm excited to see what he does next because I think that Jordan Peele gets better with each movie honestly. I think each movie has been like a stepping stone which is something that I found so interesting because it was something that I myself didn't think would be possible to keep improving what Get Out gave us and then with Us and then with Nope. So I'm excited 
excited to see what this will mean for the future. And I'm just excited for a new Jordan Peele film. Now, our last thing we want to talk about today is the upcoming They Follow, uh, which is a sequel to It Follows, one of our favorite horror films of all time. Micah Monroe recently sat down with Collider and talked about this new film that's coming. Micah goes on to say, David is brilliant. I mean, he is brilliant. David, of course, being David Robert Mitchell, the director and writer of It Follows. She goes on to say, the whole movie transformed at that point, changing the game in the genre, and he wouldn't ever make a sequel if he didn't think it was going to top it. He's very specific, turns down so many. He just knows what he wants to do and what he wants to make. I mean, at first I'm like, oh, sequel where are we going to go here and i read it and it's just so fucking good it's so good i'm so excited so of course micah starred in the original film as jamie otherwise known as jay and this was where she was being pursued by a supernatural entity and they had to get away from it as many ways as possible and this entity went Every time you had a relationship with someone, that would transfer onto them and it would follow you. And I think it has some of the best and still holds up some of the greatest scares we've gotten in some time. So we see also where she talks more about it. She says, I think where you'll meet Jay at this point is maybe not what's expected, but it's so cool. It's just, of course, as everyone says for sequels, literally though, it's just bigger and darker and more fucked up. Reading it was the craziest thing ever. I am so excited for this role. It's been a long time since I've been excited to dive into something something there's a lot there to play with and I think it's going to be incredibly challenging for sure but so fulfilling working with David I can't wait so I want to talk more about all of this that she said and my possible thoughts on what they follow could be like or look like but we will definitely get our dose of Micah Monroe later this summer with the film Long Legs which has just been getting some rave reviews like I've said before but we're going to dive deeper into all of these stories we just talked about here today just wanted to give you a rundown wanted to give a quick talk about each and every one of them them. But let me know what you think about possession full video coming for this that this week they follows full video this week trap full video this week long legs full video this week full videos for all of these stories that we talked about today this week but this is a whole new thing where every monday we'll just run down some of these big stories and give you a preview of what we're going to talk about but very excited for the long legs tomorrow don't miss it so make sure you hit that notification bell and subscribe button Thirty-five thousand subscribers is our goal super pumped for that follow us on our website www.culturelixer.com as well as tiktok instagram twitter all provided down below and i'll see all of you next time as always stay safe stay positive